I'm Emine Rueda. Today, me and my friends are going to give a presentation on the topic of antifungal drug interactions. Infectious diseases caused by fungi are called mycosis, and they are often chronic in nature. Mycotic infections may involve only the skin, or may cause subcutane, subcutaneous, or systemic infections. The majority of oral fungal infections are caused by yeasts belonging to the genus Candida. Patients who are undergoing antibiotic therapy, taking systemic or inhaled steroids, on immunosuppressive medication or have endocrine disorders such as diabetes are disposed to oral fungal infections. When a patient attends with an oral fungal infection, attempt to resolve the infection with local measures first. If we look at the conditions that require the use of antifungal drugs in dentistry, these are pseudomembranous candidosis, erythematosus candidosis, prosthetic stomatitis, and angular chelitis. Some local preca precautions should be taken to prevent the disease from being observed. If using corticosteroid inhaler, advise patient to rinse mouth with water or brush teeth after use. Clean dentures thoroughly. Leave dentures out at night. Check to see if dentures are the cause of the infection. Decreased occlusal vertical dimension can lead to folding of the corners of the mouth. If dentures are possible, cause adjust or remake. As we understand from this information, denture-related stomatitis is the most common condition affecting removable denture wearers, and Candida albicans, the most frequent pathogenic agent. Systemic antifungal treatment is indicated by recurrences are frequent. My friends will explain the drugs in the table in more detail. Drug names of amphitheritic B in Turkey are ablicent, ambisome, fungizone. Candida albicans is one of the major human fungal pathogens, which usually causes oral mucosal infections. Such infections are difficult to eradicate and may emerge as lethal depending on the immune status of patients. Particularly, patients with immunocompromised diseases such as AIDS and cancer are life-threatened by the infection of C. albicans. In these patients, C. albicans invade the oral cavities and make them even more painful. Currently, amphotericin B is considered to be the most effective antibiotic in treatment of Candida albicans infections. Adverse effects of amphotericin B. Common side effects include a reaction with fever, chills, and headaches soon after the medication is given, as well as kidney problems. Allergic symptoms include anaphylaxis may occur. Other serious side effects include low blood potassium and inflammation of the heart. It appears to be relatively safe in pregnancy. There is a lipid formulation that has a lower risk of side effects. It is in the polyene class of medication and works in part by interfering with the cell membranes of the fungus. Drug interactions. Drug interactions may change how your medication works or increase your risk for serious side effects. Some products that may interact with this drug include anti-cancer drugs such as metoclertamine, nitrogen mustard, azole antifungals such as cataconazolone, itraconazolone, sidofovir, digoxin, flucytosin, medication that affect the kidneys, including pentamine, tacrolismus, aminoglycosides such as gantamicin. Muscle reluctance is such as tubocurecin and zidovudin. If we look more closely at drug interactions, phytosine toxicity of phytosine is increased and allows a lower dose of amphotericin bean. Amphotericin bean may also facilitate entry of phytosine into the fungal cell by interfering with the permeability of the fungal cell membrane. Diuretics or C splitting increased renal toxicity and increased risk of hypokalemia. Corticosteroids increases risk of hypokalemia. Cytostatic drugs increased risk of kidney damage, hypertension and bronchospasms. Other nephrotoxic drugs such as aminoglycosids increases risk of serious renal damage. Foscarnate, gancoclovir, tenofovir, adofovir, risk of hematological and renal side effects of amphotericin bean are increased. Transfusion of leukocytes, risk of pulmonal lung damage occurs. Space the intervals between the application of amphotericin bean and transfusions and monitor pulmonary function. In this slide, we are going to talk about antifungal drug, and it is meconazole. 
And what is mechanosome? Mechanosome is antifungal medicine, killing the candida fungus. And we use it in oral trash treatment. And what is the oral trash? Oral trash is an infection in the mouth caused by a yeast germ called candida. And yeast are a type of fungus, and the mouth is a common site where candida causes infection. Certain situations or conditions can cause an overgrowth of candida, which can lead to a bout of oral trash. This includes a big baby, having a dry mouth, wearing dentures, after a course of antibiotics, using corticosteroid inhalers, having diabetes or anemia, being in poor health and smoking. What is the symptoms of oral trash treatment? Oral trash. Uh, the mouth can be red and wet spots can sometimes develop. Although some mouth infections are painless, oral trash can make your mouth quite sore and can make eating and drinking uncomfortable. Some babies with oral trash may not be able to feed properly because of the soreness. And here we have mechanosal oral gel. And it is available on a prescription from doctor and smaller packs can be bought at pharmacies, but without prescription. And here uh, we have some kind of drugs. And if the patient use one of these drugs, we don't prescribe the mechanism. Uh, a total of 280 drugs are known to interact with mechanism. And we categorize as 15 major, 235 moderate, and 30 minor interactions, uh, such as the flucan, fluconazole. Fluconazole is also antifungal drugs. And if we use it with the mechanosol, fluconazole may increase the blood levels and effects of mechanosol. And anisin D1, if we use it with uh, mechanosol, it has lead to bleeding complication. And the other one is busperapan. Uh, it can cause dry sinus, feeling lightheaded, uneven heart rate, depressed mood, and also unusual throats or behaviors, or lack of coordination. And if we use it with the mechanosol. And we have another antifungal drug. Amphotericin B and uh, imidazole and triazole can find in mechanosol. And if we use it with the amphotericin, it can antagonize the effects of amphotericin. And the other one is braceriasin. Theoretically, antifungal agents may reduce the efficiency of braceriasin due to suppression of yeast activity. Here also we have another drug and we don't prescribe them with the, uh, with the mechanism. For example, amphotericin B cholesterol sulfate, amphotericin B lipid complex, or dexamatozon nasal, or dexamatozon ophthalmic, diazepam, midazolam, tirazolam, and also hydroxyprogesterone and progesterone. And we can uh, Say another example also. We can give another examples also. Here we have another antifungal uh, drug. It is nystatin. Uh, nystatin comes as a low heat. I mean suspicion. Uh, we swirl around our mouth, then we swallow it, and we use it in the symptoms of fungal infection and candidiasis. I mean yeast infection. Also, nystatin oral suspension may be used along or with other medication. As we told before, nystatin kills the fungus and gets rid of the infection. It can also be used to stop you getting an infection and it's only available on prescription. Like uh, some kind of fungal infection such as oral trash or skin infection. And also nystatin comes mixed with steroids, antiseptics or antibacterials 
as a cream or ointment. And uh, we don't prescribe the mechanolol with the breast disease. And it is uh, one minor interaction with the mechanolol. Hi, today I'm going to tell you about uh, two of the antifungal drug interactions. The first one is flucytosine. Uh, first of all, I want to say that the names in the parentheses uh, refers to common uh, drug brands in Turkey, like Ancotil. Uh, the first interaction is flucytosine plus zoladrenic acid interaction. Uh, when we use them together, zoladrenic acid can affect the kidney functions and increase the blood levels. It can trigger certain hematological problems, such as anemia or bleeding problems. Let's check the other interactions of flucytosine. It doesn't interact with uh, alcohol or any food. It has major interactions with the uh, myelosuppression and renal dysfunction diseases. On the other hand, it moderates the hemodialysis and hypokalemia diseases. Uh, Flucytosine may frequently cause bone marrow toxicity for the immune suppressed patients. It discharged primarily by the kidneys and renal impairment may lead to accumulation of drug. It should be prescribed with the caution in patients with renal dysfunction. The other Track uh, is the itraconazole with itraxil Turkish brand. Itraconazole plus fluticasone and salmaterol interaction. Itraconazole may increase the absorption of fluticasone and salmaterol into bloodstream. It may increase susceptibility to side effects such as uh, high blood pressure and high, high glucose level, muscle weakness, bone density loss, etc. High blood levels of uh, salmeterol uh, can cause irregular heart rhythm and cause fatal consequences. The other one is itraconazole plus uh, apixaban. Uh, itraconazole may increase the absorption of apixaban into bloodstream. It may increase extremely high risk of bleeding complications and it may cause of death. The last interaction of itraconazole is the itraconazole plus butisonit and formaterol. Itraconazole may significantly increase the absorption of uh, budesonate and into bloodstream. Uh, patients may be more likely to experience side effects such as swelling, weight gain, high blood pressure, high blood glucose, muscle weakness, etc. Last of all, uh, the calcium and vitamin D and uh, esomeprazole combinations with the itraconazole decrease the effect of itraconazole. Uh, these drugs should be considered carefully while prescribing. I'm going to try to explain two of the drugs that it can interact with antifungal drugs. Uh, one of them is fulcanazole. Um, it's an antifungal drug that can be used to treat fungal infections. As we all know, fungal infections are caused by fungus, and uh, especially in our practice in dentistry, the patient who use total prothesis are under the risk of having fungal infection. When they have it, we can prescribe fulcanazole to treat it. Uh, and as we all know, and as I write here, it's an azo class drug and it can interact with many drugs. The numbers are very amazing uh, and a total of 534 drugs are known to interact with fluconazole. It's a big number uh, and here uh, the drugs are listed below. Um, if your patient use one of these drugs, do not prescribe fluconazole. One of them is aspirin. As we all know, uh, too many patients are using that and Cymbalta, Nexium, uh, Vitamin B12, Vitamin C, Vitamin D3, Xanax, Zyrtec, Tylenol, Norco, Flonase. Uh, in here, the red ones, Xanax and Norco, it, uh, one of them is an Alprazolom um, and one of them is an Acetaminophen. Uh, they are the major ones. They have high risk to interact with fluconazole and the uh, flonase, which is orange and moderate one, um, it is uh, have it has moderate risk and the green ones are unknown, but we should be careful, very careful about the if your patient is using these drugs, uh, you shouldn't prescribe the fluconazole because we need to know that it, they can interact with each, with each other and uh, it can cause too many problems with our patients. Uh, let's talk about ketoconazole. It is a, uh, as I said, it um, it has a it it is an azol antifungal. Uh, its class is azol group, and uh, ketoconazole is an antifungal medication that is used to treat certain infections caused by fungus again, 
And ketoconazole should be used only when you cannot use other antifungal medications because it can cause serious harm to your liver that may result in liver transplant plant or cause that. As we all know, liver is very important for us, for our body, and um, it, we shouldn't forget that it can give harm to our liver, and we should be very careful. If you, we have no any other chance, then we need to prefer to use it. And again, the number is very amazing. Uh, a total of 18 drugs are known to interact with ketoconazole. Some medicines can cause unwanted or dangerous effects when used with ketoconazole. Um, if we look at them, antipsychotic medicines, pimozide, lurazidon, and cholesterol medication, which are lovastatin, simvastatin, and the others, and heart medication, isopyramid, dofetilid, droneron, eplaneron, felodipine, nizolidipine, quidinine, and a sedative, which is alprazolam, midazolam, or triazolam, uh, these are very common drugs that uh, the patients use. When a patient comes to our clinic, we, we shouldn't forget that uh, if any of patients that can come to us can use can be used these of drugs, and we should ask them, um, are you using these or not? Uh, and we should be very careful about the interactions. Prescribe a ketoconazole if our patient use one of the drugs that I listed here. And again, aspirin, uh, vitamin C, vitamin B12, Simbalta, Flonase, Lexopro, Lipitor, Lyrica, Paracetamol. Uh, these drugs are again are um, can interact with ketoconazole, and we shouldn't prescribe it if our patient using one of them. Hello, my name is Tuche Kisar, uh, and I will tell. Rhizocruzin and Hizocruzin drug interaction. First, I want to start with Rhizocruzin. Rhizocruzin is a narrow spectrum oral antifungal agent which is approved for the treatment of dermatophyte infections of the skin, hair, and nails. Gastrointestinal absorption of Rhizocruzin is variable. We can achieve op optimal absorption uh, if grizofuzin is given after ingestion of big meal. Uh, and grizofuzin is the enzyme inducer too. And grizofuzin has had a side effect. Grizofuzin is rarely associated with hepatotoxic, uh, nephrotoxic, and uh, hematotoxic adverse experiences. And also, grizofuzin causes phototoxicity. And uh, we should avoid uh, ultraviolet light, a uh, phototoxic agent such as methoxine, sulfonamide, uh, and quinolone, and uh, tetracycline antibiotics uh, to prevent phototoxicity. And these are uh, the grizofuzin drug interactions. First, the alcohol. We should avoid alcohol uh, if we use grizofuzin. Because this is from like reactions with shikardia, diaphoresis, uh, and flushing may occur. Second drug is aspirin. Uh, decrease, uh, its effects uh, are decrease aspirin absorption and decrease uh, steric pelic efficiency. And the third part is cyclosporine. Decreased cyclosporine blood levels may occur. And I'm continuing with uh, oral contraceptives, uh, phenobarbital, vanilla mandelic acid, uh, and warfarin. Oral contraceptives uh, monitor uh, because increased biotransformation may result in decreased efficiency of oral contraceptives intermenstrual bleeding and uh, unintended pregnancy. Phenobarbital uh, monitor uh, because decreased grisofuzin absorption may lead to decreased grisofuzin efficiency. Vanilla mandelic acid testing, uh, false positive spectrometric uh, vanilla mandelic acid testing results. Warfarin monitor uh, because decreased anticoagulant effects may occur. 
or nuclear anticoagulant effects. And now uh, I'm continue with uh, second part, uh, terbinafine. Uh, firstly, terbinafine uh, hydrochloride is a synthetic alilamine antifungal compound. And terbinafine inhibits the fungal enzymes, squalene epoxidase, that results in the accumulation of squalene and reduce uh, agisterosynthesis. Uh, and following oral administration, uh, more than 70% of terbinafine uh, is absorbed, and more than 99% uh, bound to plasma protein, uh, and ultimately undergoes expan expansive hepatic uh, metabolism uh, prior to renal elimination. Uh, and we can say that. Uh, Terbinafine may be a CHP substrate uh, because imetidine, which is CHP inhibitor, uh, and rifampin, which is CHP inducer, uh, can change ter uh, terbinafine. So, the researchers, uh, and we can say that terbinafine may be CHP substrate because of these reactions. Terbinafine is not metabolized by CHP3A4 enzyme 2. Uh, and the red part uh, is our terbinafine side effects. Uh, gastrointestinal distress, uh, malaise, stenosis, eruptions, reversible elevated liver function, case abrasion, and real occurrence of reversible ocular disturbances, severe neutropenia, and idiosyncratic hepatitis. And finally, these are the ter uh, terbinafine drug interactions. Uh, these are caffeine, smithidine, uh, cyclosporine, um, nicobit, uh, rifampin, and Terfenidine. Uh, first, the caffeine. Caffeine increased caffeine blood levels may occur with intravenously ad uh, administrated caffeine. Smithidine increased terbinafine uh, blood levels may occur. Cyclosporine small decreases in cyclosporine blood levels may occur. Nicobit uh, hepatotoxicity possibility. Uh, Rifampin uh, increased terbinafine clearance and uh, decreased terbinafine uh, blood levels. Uh, Terfidin, terf, uh, a small increase uh, in uh, terbinafine uh, blood levels. That's all from my part. Uh, thank you for your listening.